We got a winner here. This guy goes to the body like nothing I've ever seen. What movie? I don't know. Rocky. Welcome to pregame.tv. Teddy covers Steve Fezzik, and it's free pick time. Fez, let's talk about a game on Wednesday. And I'm going to ask you a concept here. Are you willing in Major League Baseball to lay chalk? Will you lay a dollar eighty, minus two dollars, minus two twenty, anything like that? Even with a road favorite, let's be very specific. It's normally a neighborhood. I don't like to drive in, much less park my car, get out, and start investing money in front of everyone. But on occasion, hey, if it should be minus two forty, I'll certainly put it down minus one, uh, minus two ten without blinking. Yes. That's the concept here. The concept is not what the price is. Oh, you have to lay two dollars. You can't make money laying two dollars. I'm not buying that, and I don't set up those arbitrary rules for myself. I do, however, look for favorites that should be minus 250, like the one we're going to talk about. And they're only minus 170 on the overnight line. I'm willing to take minus 180 with Seattle as they finish their series in Texas on Wednesday. And this is the ultimate starting pitching mismatch. We have King Felix on the one side. And King Felix has owned these Rangers. Texas can hit right-handers. They, uh, Felix Hernandez faced him three times last year, held him to five runs in the three meetings. We can expect success from King Felix in this ballgame against an anemic Texas lineup. On the other hand, the other side of the equation, Wandy Rodriguez, the tired, retread <laughs> veteran who's been cut three times in the last two years. The only reason he's playing right now for Texas is because they have four starters on the DL. I sense mismatch. And yeah, I'm going to lay the price. We're all going to get some of the run line here, minus 110 or less. But the bottom line, should we make this official? I'm going to let you make it official. Good. Diversify your portfolio. Maybe one third on the run line, two thirds on the money line. It's time. That makes that's a ratio that makes perfect sense to me. For a Wednesday, let's look at Seattle as road favorites in Texas. One third on the run line, two third on the money line. Seattle takes care of business with the win. That's the play of the day here on pregame.tv.